In this video I'm going to show you how you can use Lumion to take your SketchUp models to the next level. My name is Katerina, I'm a garden designer and I'll see you next. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. So this is a Lumion demo video. This is a model from Sarah, a landscape architect from Slovenia and uh, I really wanted I was really happy with all the, the projects that you guys uh, hand me to choose. So I've chosen this one from Sarah um, and I wanted to show you how she sent me the project. So it looked pretty good already as a SketchUp model, okay? So it's a, a small uh, garden design with a, a kitchen garden with vegetable patches and um, with the outdoor kitchen area and the social area. So I really like it. Um, and I wanted to show you what I took it out and what I left. So this is actually what I, um, everything I took out I mean, before I uh, upload this model into Lumion. So I left vest all the vegetables because we don't have vegetables inside Lumion. So I'm going to use the SketchUp ones from the 3D warehouse um, and um, I've changed a little bit here the material because I'm going to use this material to create uh, leaves here because I didn't like the leaves that were before from this uh, climber. And uh, I add here another material that I'm going to do uh, like a grass roof. Um, so I'm going to add a grass roof um, uh, um, to make it a green roof, sorry, a grass material to this uh, 3D grass. So as you can see, it's pretty simple and I was really happy about it. So what I've done is inside Lumia now, I've uploaded the SketchUp model and I worked the materials first. So um, even if you were happy with this deck area, for example, with the wood that you've chosen here, I'll always uh, work it a little bit inside Lumia just because you had, uh, it has sharpness and detail to it. Plus, you can weather the materials. I always weather a little bit and depending on the material, the concrete node, for example, but things like woods, um, I um, add a bit of, um, you have a setting in Lumion that you can soften the edge. So in real world, you don't have very straight edges except some materials like metal or concrete. You can you can have really sharp edges, but things like wood and other materials you don't. So I just had some softness to it. So I'm going to just show you the final result and I'm going to add some um, renderings in the end of this video to show you guys. So the blob you see here is trees as a background. Okay. Uh, some of the advantages of working with Lumion, not only the vegetation look great, if you're doing animations, the quality is amazing and you have the wind blowing and it's amazing. Um, things that I don't have, uh, that they are not really good inside Lumion, the vegetables and hanging plants. Like she had some hanging plants. What I've done is I actually uh, upload them into Lumion as a single plant and uh, add grass uh, material to this just to make it more natural inside Lumion and use this as a, a planting material in the model, okay, inside Lumion, okay. So you're going to see here after in the renderings because you don't have a lot of hanging plants inside Lumion and that's, uh, I hope, they enrich their library and something they'll let. So definitely the fire, the lighting are big advantages of Lumion, okay. Um, so I add this in um, in layers because of the vegetables and the, the vegetables of the 3D warehouse in this case, they are very high polygon models and they, the, the model actually, if it's small, but it becomes quite heavy. So I just wanted to show you um, the, the, so I have some people. So if you take out the lighting, take out people, I'm going to take the decorations and the, the, the lighting decorations and the pillows. So this is actually how we came from SketchUp. Okay. The first thing you've done is work all the materials 
uh, even this one that's the, I I've, I've left it the, the materials that Sarah chosen to her project, uh, but I always work them inside. Um, Lumion because you have quite a few settings and I like to weather them a little bit because you don't you not be able to see it right now but it the weathering is become visible when you're doing the renderings of the still images okay and uh, I like to add some uh, relief as well you can even play with the scale if you really want as you can see here but I left it as, as a default, but I weathered a little bit and the edges again, like I was saying. So glass, you have some glass here, you have some metal, everything I add in Lumion, okay? Um, the blinds, everything I add material inside Lumion because the quality of the materials are just so good. So as you can see, it's a big difference from what you had here. And it looked great again as a sketchup model it looked great so i um basically chosen plants inside lumion that she had chosen for her project so this is the actual plants or very similar plants that um, that you are av have available inside lumion the only ones i didn't had was this climber that i'm actually not sure which species it is uh but uh, like i said i took the leaves and i had some leaves inside lumion to make it a more realistic as well as the the hanging plants uh the lupinus the boxwood the acer everything else is species that you have available inside lumion if you don't you can always use from the 3d warehouse okay so the big advantage here is not only the quality of the image that you get in the end you're able to choose very easily the time of the day things like lighting are amazing okay are you going to suggest it at night etc okay so i'll add these images in the end of the video i hope you guys like the result uh, i'm gonna do now um this weekend a few sets of images for uh, for sarah um and uh, uh, a small animation as well so she can show her clients but having these possibilities of playing with lighting changing materials in lumion is very easy and very quickly so if you have different types of wood for the deck area for example that you really want to show off so very easily you can uh, just do a few renders with the with the different um, materials options um and i think it looks amazing i think it looks really great so again sketchup is great but Lumion just takes it to completely next level, okay? Plus you can add people um, to show scale. You can have a lot of fun with it. I like to always add some details. Uh, I'm gonna do some renders with it. And uh, I like to use sometimes to show furniture or like maybe the lighting fixtures. You suggesting something similar, you can add to your renders. So. It's a really, uh, it's a lot of possibilities, okay? So it's a really uh, amazing tool to show off your, your project and show off your work. So I hope you enjoy it. Follow us on the social networks. So um, next year I'm planning to do more of these Lumion demos. So, but I'll let you know, okay? See you guys, see you in the next video.